what's good everybody it's your girl lady red and i'm back with another video happy new year everybody i hope everybody's new year was great i hope you had a good time i hope you guys were safe so today is my first video of the new year 2022 and you guys today i am having leftovers so i have some mac and cheese i have some chicken some collard greens some black eyed peas over rice and a few a couple of um um hawaiian sweet rolls i have my sprite and my glass of ice on the side so let's get into it Let's get a sippy sip. Always good. I'm starting with the mac and cheese. Hmm. I wish my mom could taste it. It tastes just like her food. I should have gave y'all a close-up before I started. So, but you've seen in the intro... So how are you guys doing today? What you eating on? What you snacking on? Make sure you have something to eat. If you hanging with me, make sure you have something to eat, something to drink. Super good.
a little bit of mac and greens together. So tell me guys, how did you bring in the new year? I brought mine and with my family on Zoom and we had a good time. Um, we ate. We drank, we took shots, we played um, games. We played a game. And just hung out. It was fun, but I can't wait till we can physically see each other. Unlike everyone else, me and my family, we're still kind of being careful, you know. Fall off the bone. Today is Monday, and there's a new episode of Love & Hip Hop, and I am such a big fan of Love & Hip Hop, however, I think it's kind of time for them to wrap it up and just stop, because this one is, what is this, Love & Hip Hop Family Reunion, or Reunion, a lot of the cast members are, um, I forget where they are, but they're uh, at some resort, you know, reuniting, having fun, still having some beef, but I don't know. At this point, I feel like it's just being dragged too long. <clears throat> like, there's no more storylines. You, it's, it's, you guys done exhausted everything. It's time to just call it quits. Do something different, something new. Everybody is so much older. At this point, it's just ridiculous. And since, since I'm a loyal fan, I feel obligated to watch this season. <laughs> if I don't, I feel like I'm missing out on something. So, I'm forced to watch it. Watch Safari and Erica. 
go through their drama. Send Santana with her drama. And I think her and, and Lil Booby are showing some type of interest. But isn't he... I think Lil Booby... I think he's um, Keisha Keisha Cole's um, the father to her child. I don't understand some women like... Even if I don't know you, but I see you and I know who your man is or your husband or whatever. And me and you can never speak a day in our life, but I still know I'm, I know of you. To me, it, your man is off limits. I don't care if y'all not together no more, you know, a bad breakup, a good breakup, a mutual breakup. My mindset is, oh, I know you so-and-so. And if your man try to holler at me, or if he doesn't, whatever, I'm not, I, I just don't go that, I don't go that route. I, that's just automatically off limits. I don't understand some people. Like, why would you, and she knows who Keisha Cole is, and she's familiar with Keisha Cole. Why would you be entertaining her child's father? Like, I, I don't know. To me, that's just like weird to me. I can't dig, dig that. A lot of chicks, they do that shit. And a lot of chicks do that shit when they know you. Saying hi to you in your, in your face. And then be trying to holler at your man or vice versa. It's just fucking ridiculous and nasty. Many people, there's so many fish in the sea and you scheming on this person. A lot of women or men like to justify the fact that, oh, but they're not together no more. Like Stevie J and Faith. What are you doing? That's Even though Biggie is not here anymore, but Biggie was your man and you were doing business with him. So to me, in the back of my mind, I'm looking at it like, you. that means you, it's fine to be attracted to somebody, but to, you know what I'm saying, keep that to yourself and act appropriately but if the person breaks up or they they're not together or the person just you know they pass away or something and you run off to holler at the person that's in the back of my mind i'm looking at at that like wow that means you that's that's just snaky to me <clears throat> snake shit you wanted faith when biggie was with was with um with her and then you turn around and married the woman. <laughs> I don't get that. That shit is a complete turn off to me. And Faith used to be my girl. And I got turned off with that bullshit. Swiss Beats. I got turned off with that boot. Alicia Keys, I used to love her. But when I found out all that shit with her breaking up a happy home, it kind of reminded me of my situation with my kid's father. Um, I, I just, like, I'm, I, I don't listen to her music anymore. I never really was into Swiss Beats, but that shit irritates me.
I'm getting full. This this food, I was about to say this shit was good. <laughs> mm. When I was younger, I never liked any kind of bean. No bean. Looking for that gristle. <clears throat> and you know what's weird? I think I talked about this before about R. Kelly. I told my mom in the 90s that something was weird about that guy. And now look. <laughs> yeah, man, but Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys, Faith, Stevie J, Booby, Sin Santana. It's just stay fucking turn offs. I don't understand where's everybody's morals. And now I'm full, you guys. But that was good. Really, really good. Hmm. I should have had it propped up. I need to start doing that in my video so you guys can see. Excuse me. Alright you guys. I'm about to get up out of here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share guys. Sharing is caring, so do me that solid and share. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I hope you guys have a very blessed new year. We here. We did it. 2022. Thank you for watching. I'm Lady Red. And I'm out.